friends uh, welcome again and this is my new project online fashion store and uh, i have developed this project in java jsp and my Pro. and uh, the version i am using is the java jdk version is 1.8 and tomcat server is one uh, sorry tomcat server i am using is the 7 but if you can run and configure this project easily on the tomcat version 8 and the tomcat version 9 also if you are running the eclipse and the netwins and if you know how to configure the project on the eclipse and netwins then you can run this project also they are <laughs> on eclipse and netwins also <coughs> so for database i am using the mysql and the version i am using is the uh, mysql version 5.6 for connecting the database with mysql and the java i am using the mysql connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website so this is all about the server technology and the backend technology for front end i am using the html css and javascript also this is the small bootstrap theme means this is the responsive theme and the size of the screen will be shrinked according to the screen size means if you are op if you open this project on the mobile then the screen will be synced according to the mobile for tabs the screen will be synced according to the tabs and for desktop the screen will be synced according to the desktop so i have also used some of the jquery library for giving some good effects just like a for form validations and the date i am using the jquery library so this is all about the technologies and the front end and back end things and the versions so let's start with the functionality so the project title is online fashion store and uh, this is a mini project it's not a major project because it has only a single role login that is the customer there is no role for the admin means customer will be able to perform each and every operations but admin will because the, there is no login for the admin so admin can't, can't perform any operations inside the project right even admin can't be able to log in okay so this is the home page of the project so the product which you are seeing on just below the banner it's coming from the database so this is a totally dynamic page and all the project the products which you are seeing it's coming from the database and if you click on the product then you will be able to see the details of the product right so this is the home page and you can see so if you click on the product then you will be able to see the details of the project product so this is the about section this is the static page and if you want to change the content then you can do that you can directly change it from the html pages this is the all garment sections so all garment section is means all the garments which is available in the store will be listed here and you can also filter out the garments from the left side panel so this is the filtration so if you click on the category and those garments will be listed down here and if you click on the all items then you will be able to see the list of that all right the same thing is available in the menu section also so you can filter the things from here also or the here also right this is the registration this is the customer registration form so if the customer doesn't have the user id and password means customer doesn't have the credentials then customer can create their own credential from here so there is a restriction inside the project if customer doesn't have the credential then customer will not be able to perform any of the operations means customer will not be able to buy the products right because for buying the product customer need to log inside the system and if he doesn't have the credentials then he will not be able to log inside the system okay this is the login page and this is the contact us page right so from here customer will be able to log in so now i am going to buy some garments so this and clicking on the add to cart so correctly there are three items inside the cart if i want to remove some items then i can remove it also and if i want to add some more items then just click on or add garments and you can add more garments here right if you change the quantity then you can change the quantity also suppose if i this need this six items so the cost is four thousand so the cost of six items is twenty four thousand it's and total cost is so all cost will be accumulated and will be listed here once you click on the proceed to check out the system will ask for your credential if you have the credential then you can enter it or you can register right so here the shipping address i am entering some garbage data here and once you click on the proceed to payment as dummy payment gateway page will be integrated in the system and there is no real transaction will be done from the system so you can enter anything right even i am not saving the data of this uh, uh, form anywhere in the database also right 
so cbv number amount paid so you are going to pay this amount and once you click on the make a payment then you will be able to see that the order it is 18 also there is a dashboard for the customer so customer will be able to see the my order sections my account sections right so once you click on the my orders then you will be able to see all of the order items if you click on the view items then you will be able to see the view item sections my account section means you will be able to update your account details here this okay this is the logout section so one more thing i want to show you so the this menu is also available here also there is a my orders my account section and the contact assistant the above menu is totally session driven so if you log out from the system then above menu will be gone right so let me show you so if i log out then above menu has been changed if i log in the above menu has been changed if i log out then above menu has been changed so it's a totally session driven so if you log inside the system then each and every time the system will check that you have logged inside the system or not if you are logging inside the system then the above menu will be displayed differently and if you don't have login then the above menu will be uh, rendered differently okay so this is all about the project okay so uh, this is a mini project that's why it's very less number of functionality so if you need more functionality in this project then uh you can just put into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project according to your requirements and according to your needs and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest classes thanks for watching the video thank you very much